Okay, hi guys, KK here again. I am doing my favorite February video for you guys. And yeah, I have a favorite that I had never expected was going to be a favorite. So today is a makeup favorite. I am going to do a video on skincare. Maybe today, so if you see me in the same thing, don't judge. Don't even think about it. Don't, well, you can do what you want. Anyway. So let's get right into this video. So let me start with a primer, a face primer that I have only been using at least two weeks. Could be a little less than two weeks that just blowed my mind. I love it, love it, love it until I forgot I had other primers. And this is the Black Opal True Color Perfecting Primer. It says it hydrates, it corrects, it primes, it covers, it does hydrate. It has that nice sticky finish to it where the makeup just glues on I don't I can't explain it it gives you a nice little radiance as well it has a nice little tint to it comes in a beautiful little pump action thing here you know it's just I don't know what to say about it I just I just love it I just love it I'm shocked that I love that um, for something new to make it to this list normally I use something for two three months before I figure out if I love it or not okay now this is the one that blowed me out the water and I have so much high-end foundations and I have been grabbing towards this yeah I bought it just to do a video in it to show it there and didn't know I would have liked it so yeah this is the Sasha second skin I use the color cocoa beige it's like a perfect perfect match for me and yeah, I just love this stuff. Totally, totally love this stuff. Um, this is not what I have on today. I'm using another drugstore foundation that I just had sitting there to do this video. But yeah, I love this totally. Um, I always say Sasha was too oily for me. It just made me a total grease ball. But I am really starting to believe it's about technique and how you set stuff. And this has been my go-to. Like if I'm going to have a long night, I gravitate towards this. I stop using my stealer or my MAC and I was killing the stealer. Um, so, wow. Like, yeah. Um, for as eye primer, I am using the Ambrosia eye primer. I don't think much of you may know this. You can check out ambrosia.com. It is a brand out of Trinidad. I think this primer is phenomenal. It came in very handy for carnival makeup and glitters and all that kind of thing. Believe it or not, this side looks perfect so yeah um let's go to mascara and we're gonna miss manga um this is all over youtube i think jackie anna swears by this and that's what make me got it in the first place and it's been my go-to ever since and that could be a good six months already and yeah i still have it still love it only one i've been using out of my collection let's say concealer and this concealer is my max studio fix concealer in the shade nw40 and it's like 125 tt for this like 20 us 22 us here and i only use this to shape out my brows under my brows yeah that's all i use this for so i'm gonna have this for ages and ages to come i have put a really big dent in it if you can see it but it's just a beautiful tone it's, it's a bit lighter than me but i just love this stuff um MAC has really really good products. I'll give them that. A uh, concealer that is back on my radar the last two weeks because I have been trying to deal with concealer creasing under the eyes and different stuff and this just does it for me. It's in a hot mess. I can probably get a clean one and show you but this is a natural light concealer. That's the shade natural light by Arasca. It's actually a brand from the Sasha company and I just I have been back to this for the whole of February because I have them there and I stopped using them when I got involved with the NAS and the LA Girl and the Maybelline and so forth and so forth. This is back on my radar and I just love it. Of course, my Sasha Buttercup is going to make this collection. I've been recently started using the banana powder. Not sure how I feel about it yet, but I have been using this for a whole year and it has never done me wrong, so it deserves to be in this video. <laughs> so yeah, setting powder for, for dark skin people. It's beautiful, the Sasha Buttercup. Give you a nice glow and it sets everything right up. 
so far as contour i have been using the jordana complete coverage two in one concealer and foundation i use this to contour the perimeters of my face this have never 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 let me wrong it gives me a really nice finish i just love it it's super blendable it can be used as a foundation um you can get this at any drugstore over the counter my soft and gentle by mac this is wow i just love this so you guys can see that can you see the flexes in that i love my soft and gentle by mac it's not chalky like the goal deposit i take that and throw it in my kit but this i kept for personal use for myself i love this and what i have been using on top of that or to help finish off the whole face which i never thought i would do because i find i'm so greasy is a product by sasha again they're really on my radar right now and is the sasha shimmer powder i think when you take pictures with this you get that beautiful beautiful luminescent glow from within kind of finish especially on dark skin um tan skin this has been doing justice this this i forgot i had this just sitting there because i didn't like that big shimmer shimmer look all over the face but now i just take out the fan brush and dab it like everywhere i just after i put on my soap and gentle i touch up the cheeks with this i i really really like it i really like it let me see if i can show it comes with a little puff i'm gonna put it on my hand it's really really nice that is what it looks like but you can blend it out and it just gives you it will help the photographer if he's touching up and he doesn't have to do a lot of filters with this on your skin because the, it's the camera is going to catch the lighting and you just, we're going to deal with blush funny enough i was killing my blush by mac which is in pepper burnt pepper this is what that looks like hope you can get the true color of that it's not it does have a bit of an orange warm undertone but i like it because it's matte it has an, it gives me a nice flush of color and that kind of thing but i have been loving the elf palette in dark i have been showing it in my kit showing it in my bag to travel i went to bigger with it i went to lucia with it um after carnival i love this and most of all i've been using okay if we go up this way the second block of the mirror this color here is the one i have been using the most right so as you can see it's a bit orange it has a brown ish look tinge look to it and that's the one that i have been loving that's actually the one i have on now it's a more a natural look because i am already warm tone so oranges and reds and that kind of thing in blush is supposed to go opposite so i supposed to be more pinkies and pink blush and that kind of thing but i love this because it gives me just a nice a really nice glow nice look to it and then with a nice light highlight it completes the look last but not least this one is my shock you guys for those of you who um, is not on the caribbean makeup page you guys might be shocked the water and i have it in this as a spray bottle this is what i have been setting my face with religiously i got it i put it in this little bottle so i can have it here and spray it i max sort of water in it and a long night out uh i need to go in the water with my makeup anything like that this is what i'm putting on my face now i have drunk soda water if i have an upset stomach or i am um, drunk i don't get drunk often but if i'm high or hangover i can wash my face with it just leave for my face and i think it's the best setting spray i've ever used especially for the hot humid caribbean climate so people who live in very hot places like florida my aunt is in florida so i told her about this and um she's been using it the brand i have been using however it's this one and i just have it sitting on my makeup desk here because i just keep topping up this with this and that's it so yeah so those are my february favorite thank you so much guys for taking in this video and i i'm thinking i'm leaving out something am i oh my lip combo today is what i'm leaving out and i just love these two matte um 
nudish lips i love it and it's teddy bear number 25 month from milani and barely nude which is what i have in my center i find this one is a bit more chalky and dusty so i tend to put teddy bear on the perimeter of the mouth and put um barely nude which is this one and as you can see it's nearly done in the middle so that's my lipsticks combo that i love and that's like an everyday thing okay so enough rambling thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and like my favorites um if there's anything you want a little more info on don't feel to don't be afraid sorry to leave me a comment or ask a question i would love to interact and communicate with you guys you guys can follow me on facebook instagram twitter and pinterest at beauty by k dash k a y so it's beauty by kk on all social networks facebook instagram pinterest everybody everybody is the same thing um tag me if you like beauty by kk and yeah let's get a convo going on let's enjoy ourselves let's have fun let's do makeup okay guys till next time be safe be beautiful and see you bye